So we got the weekend. Tell your friends. The reason why I chose this was because it's part of the the whole hills. Can't feel my face. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's the. This is the third one. the same I am too reckless I'm not trying to go in that direction these niggas they've been doing too much flex and they about to call the wrong attention and I don't got no patience no more testing I do shit how I want don't need no blessing exo niggas ain't nothing to mess with nobody's stopping us from what we destined and everybody around you is so basic I'm never rock and white, I'm like a racist. <laughs> I don't drink my liquor with it. For rock and white, I'm like a racist. Yo, did you peep like the beginning with the burning bush? I like did. another biblical reference. It was a burning baby. It was like a baby tree, no? Yeah. yeah. But like the burning bush. <laughs> like from the Bible. Yeah, you missed me there. <laughs> I'm never rocking white, I'm like a racist. I don't drink my liquor with a chasing. That money is the only thing I'm chasing. And some dope dimes on some coke lines. Give me head all night, come four times. Baby girl, just wanna smoke a pound. Do an ounce, get some dick, tell her friends about it. Go tell your friends about it. About it. Go tell your friends about it. About he just buried himself. I think it symbolizes like his old self. Yeah. About it. Go tell me if it's about it. About it. Go tell me what you know, what you see, how I roll. Singing about popping pills, <laughs> fucking bitches, living life so true. Last year I did all the politic. You know how they say sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Mm -hmm. Like weekends making his whole genre. It's like sex, drugs, and then weekend. <laughs> or what, like I don't even know how to categorize his music because it's like I guess it's R and B. Because it's not it's even not right. Yeah. He's just like literally an artist. Like he does a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's versatile. <clears throat> Life's so true. Last year I did all the politic. This year I'ma focus on the vision. I think these hosts deserve another fixing. I'm talking about the ones on the beginning. Don't believe the rumors, bitch. I'm still a user. <laughs> I'm still rocking camo, I'm still rolling shooters. I'm a villain in my city. I just made another killing. I'ma spend it all on bitches. And everybody fucking, everybody fucking. Pussy on the house, everybody fucking. Man, I miss my city, man, it's been a minute. Am I, yeah, yeah, have it, Cali was a mission. Cruise through the West End in my new bands. I'm just trying to live life through a new thing. Driving by the streets I used to walk through When I had no crib, I guess you thought I should have missed Hmm Go tell me if it's about So was this after the Can't Feel My Face and the other What was the other song we did, The Hills? Mm -hmm. That had this guy in it? Yeah, I wanna... I want to say Can't Feel My Face is the first one because mm -hmm. that's when he's like performing and then the devil is almost like scouting him. Right. And then I think it's the hills where he meets the devil. And then I think this is the third one. Oh, so this is where he kills him. That would make sense. That's what I'm guessing okay. is the order. I'm not sure because this is like the new weekend now. Technically. About it. Go tell me friends about it. About it. Go tell them what you know, oh, what you see, how I roll, oh, oh. how I get on the low.
was a man. Wow, that's a crazy switch up. Yo, I forgot about this part. I love this part so much. Now I'm thinking that this is the second one. Because this is showing like the car. Didn't he have a car accident in the hills? I don't remember. Yeah, he did. So I feel like this could be the second That's how one. that video started, like mm -hmm. him crawling out of a car. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same car. Yeah, I love this. Was this, this isn't all in the same album, is it? Or this? I think it is. Oh. Yeah, I think it is. Beauty Behind the Madness. Tell him this boy was a man for loving. Tell him this heart doesn't stay to boy. interesting and like the switch especially the switch up and that's why i said like it's very hard to categorize someone like the weekend because like he i feel like he dabbles in a little bit in every genre and because he dabbles in a little bit of every genre he's he kind of mixes it to a point where it's like he's creating his own genre of music yeah it's like mixed media music yeah or something. but the theme's always this like at least like not that i listen to a lot of weekend but like every song i've listened to that was weekend related the themes are typically like sex and drugs <laughs> and feeling numb yeah so i can run with that i like that like <clears throat> he makes his videos kind of connected it makes you more engaged when you're looking at the music video because you can find connections to it. Yeah. And I think that's the important part of listening to full albums. I wasn't the type of person that listened to full albums mm -hmm. unless I really liked the artist. But I noticed, like, especially, like, since we started doing music reactions, when you listen to an entire album, you oftentimes find these connections. Mm -hmm. But if you're only listening to, like, four or five songs out the out of an album, you don't really find it because you didn't listen to enough. And if you think about it, like, listening to albums was the way that we're, we were used to listening to music. At least that's how I remember listening to music. Like, you just buy CDs. Right, because you buy the entire album. Yeah. Right. Until you learn how to, like, burn CDs, then you can make mixtapes. Yeah. And then now, like, now that you have YouTube, like, you can just hear a song or two out of an album. And because you're not purchasing an entire album, you're not really obligated or you don't feel obligated to listen to all the songs. Like, for me, if I buy an album, I feel mm -hmm. obligated to listen to the entire album because I... I I bought the album, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, And like from the artist's side, I think it also gives them pressure. If they knew that people were buying albums, I think it would pressure them to make every song from that album amazing. As opposed to selling a song individually, I feel like it kind of dilutes the rest of the songs because they just want to focus on like one, two, three hitters. 